Hi, I'm Roy Giorgio with Descase Corporation, and today we're aboard our Mobile Reliability Experience Vehicle, and it's a tool that we use to come to plants such as yours to explain how to do practical machinery lubrication. And the great thing about practical machinery lubrication is we find that if you make the right way the easy way, people will want to do it. We actually want to make your life a lot easier. Now, we're going to assume that you already know that if you keep your lubricants clean and dry, that your equipment will last anywhere from three to eight times longer. But what a lot of people don't understand is when they receive new oil, and this is a new oil sample, this is a used oil sample, they think this is clean and this is dirty. But if you actually ran particle counts on these, and we'll explain those in another segment, but if you ran particle counts on these, this oil is actually cleaner than this oil. So what we want to do to be able to make sure that we have a clean and dry oil is we want to pre-filter it. So it doesn't really matter whether you use a filter cart, something uh, as a system similar to this, or even the filtration system on your storage units. And whichever one is most convenient, we just want to make sure that we have the right pore size, that we're getting out the right size particles, and we want to make sure we have the right efficiency so that we know if we turn this over X number of times that it's going to be clean enough to put into service. So we know on national average, new oil is about eight times too dirty. So we want to filter this, we want to turn it over anywhere between six to 10 times. So I always like to use 10 because the math is easy. So if this is 55 gallons, we want to pump 550 gallons through these filters by pulling from the bottom, this tube actually goes to the bottom, and then uh, run it through the filter system and put it back into the top. We want to make sure that that does that, has enough time to do that 10 times. So in our next segment, we're going to show you how easy it is once you've got your oil ready to put into service by using simple things such as quick connects and the right pumps or the right cart uh, to put it into service and to make sure that you're handling the oil properly along all steps of the way. So be sure and join us.